the moment you've written a research paper or an academic assignment, you need to get it checked for occurrence of unintentional plagiarism. Now, with so many plagiarism checkers out there, it's important to identify which are the most genuine ones in the market. You want a tool that can detect the similarity of your document very accurately. Secondly, once you have the plagiarism report generated, it's also important to understand how to read the report. What is the difference between similarity index and plagiarism and how to address the issues that are highlighted in the report? So to answer all these questions, let's get started. Hi everyone, I am Neha Grival. I'm the founder of WiseUp and on this channel I make videos on studying abroad, job readiness, research mastery and communication skills, essentially all those areas where you need to become wiser to succeed in your career. So if any of these topics are relevant to you, you can subscribe to this channel. And now let's start by understanding what is plagiarism. So to define plagiarism, it is the act of using the ideas or words of others in your writing without giving credit to the original authors of the text. In simple words, plagiarism is cheating. It is a research misconduct. And why is that? Because you're using someone else's idea, you're using someone else's work and passing it off as your own. So whether you're writing an assignment, an academic essay or a research paper, you need to avoid any form of plagiarism, be it intentional or unintentional. Universities too have very strict guidelines against it. So how do we avoid plagiarism in our writing? Well, there are three ways to do that. First is quoting where you take the information word by word from another article, you put it under quotation marks and then you cite the source. The second and the most popular way to avoid plagiarism is through paraphrasing, where you take the information from another article, you rewrite it completely in your own words and then you cite the source. And the third and the final way is summarizing, which is similar to paraphrasing, but here you're taking a gist of information from one or more sources and then you're citing them. So in these three different ways, you can avoid plagiarism in your writing. Now, even if you've made sure that you've added the quotes and the necessary citations, or if you're using some AI generated parts in your paper, there are still chances of accidental plagiarism, which means you might have missed citing a source or the text you have written might accidentally overlap with some published literature. So to tackle this scenario, it's important to use a trusted plagiarism checker so that you can identify these oversights and then take action to protect the reputation of your research. PaperPal is an AI powered toolkit which helps you in writing your research paper. And recently they've launched their plagiarism check feature, which means if you go for the premium plan, not only do you get access to the plagiarism checker, but you can enjoy a host of features they have that makes research paper writing super easy. I've shared more details about their features in a previous video, which you can check out. Now for plagiarism detection, all you need to do is upload your manuscript and PaperPal will generate a plagiarism report for you. Now that you have the plagiarism report generated, it's important to understand what does it even mean. For this, I've uploaded a sample report on breast cancer. And if you see, the overall similarity is being highlighted as 32%. But what you need to understand is percentage similarity does not mean percentage plagiarism. Basically, what a plagiarism detection tool is doing is that it is comparing your article with all the other articles that are published on the internet. And if it finds any similarity in terms of the words that are used, it is highlighting that as percentage similarity. So what you need to do is you need to go through the plagiarism report and then analyze for yourself what is plagiarism and what is not. For example, let's look at the introduction. And here if you see a lot of the words, almost full sentence has been highlighted in blue, which does show that we have taken the information exactly word by word from another article and cited the source, which is World Health Organization 2021. But that is still not enough. We are committing plagiarism. So in order to avoid plagiarism, we should either put this entire content under quotation marks or we should paraphrase this to get rid of plagiarism. Now let's move on to the next paragraph, which is causes of breast cancer. And here also you will see a lot of these words have been highlighted in blue. 
But what is the difference? These are not full sentences. They are scattered words, which does give us the impression that we have tried to paraphrase the content, write it in our own words. And along with that, we have also cited the source, which is American Cancer Society 2021. So even though some of these words have been highlighted for similarity, it is actually not plagiarism. Now, once you've identified all the areas that need to be addressed, you can use Paper Pals features such as paraphrasing, trimming text, language suggestions, etc. to transform your text. That is also one of the reasons why I recommended using Paper Pal because you can use its hosts of AI features throughout your writing journey, including language checks, outline generation, and text rewriting using Copilot. These features really elevate the quality of your paper in terms of language and academic precision. And overall, this helps you in not only writing your research paper faster, but also increases your chances of getting it published. And the best part is that it is not super expensive. For example, if you have a one-time requirement, then you can go for their monthly or the quarterly plan, making it quite affordable. I've put more details in the description below for you to check out. So guys, that's all I wanted to share with you today. Hope this video has given you a complete picture of how to check your document for plagiarism and ready for submission. Now, if you wish to learn how to write a research paper from scratch and understand the nuances of writing and publishing research papers, then you can join me for my research paper writing course. To know more, I've put the details in the description and also on the top. And now, thank you so much for watching this video and I wish you have a fantastic research journey ahead.